but normal that the children of Jupiter will have the Jupiter matter in their body and the children of the Saturn planetary globe will have their Saturn substance in their body and those in the sun globe will have the sun substance with which their bodies are made up of. This is simple common sense and nothing else. Greater truths may require greater intelligence, but to know this much just simple common sense is enough. For corroboration we may require much many more things. So, there are the seven days of creation and on the fourth day these globes, planetary globes were made and then there was the completion of the creation. On the seventh day, what did he do? The wonderful fellow God rested, but he had no calendar in those days. So, he began to take rest on the first day itself, Sunday. So, God made a mistake and began to sleep on the first day itself. But according to the Holy Scripture, we should understand the seven layers of existence and the outermost layer called Saturn, not the planet Saturn, but the principal Saturn indicates a halt of the direction of creation, the stage of consolidation and materialization in which we find the shapes of all things consolidated and matter formed, the content of which is the same God and since it is material plane, yes. it is described that God took rest. That means, the material existence where we find the absence of consciousness. So, there is a technique to read the scripture. And with that technique, let us try to understand the in interpenetration of the globe. Otherwise, we begin to sleep on Sunday instead of on Saturday. So, the first day <laughs> is holiday to God. But luckily, God never took rest. He is continuously working and we thought God took rest. If the omnipresent fellow wanted to take rest for a second, we would have been nowhere to speak of these few things and it would have been easier for God himself. So, God never took rest. The seventh stage means the stage of matter or materialization, which is understood as a halt that is a blind and it is said that it is the day of rest to the God. That means, the Saturn principle as the seventh principle working. In you, it is working as your physical body, the bottommost seventh principle of your existence. In the planetary globe, it, exi it is existing as the physical planetary globe of every planet, not only is Saturn. So, the next step to understand about these planetary chains is that to the earth, there is an earth chain, a chain of globes and this chain is called the earth chain. Just as to the moon whom we see, there is a moon chain of seven globes and to Mars, there is a Mars chain of seven globes. To the Jupiter, there is a Jupiter chain of seven globes. To any one of these planets, including the Sun, not only as a planet, but also as the center, he has a Sun chain of globes to himself. This is the next principle we are expected to understand through the secret doctrine. And when we apply the law of interpenetration, 
we understand a sequence in the making of this earth. Some of you might have seen this picture in the secret duct. Suppose this is the earth globe in which we on which we are living. Our Geneva, India, etc. This earth globe has its own subtler globe interpenetrating it. So, through millions of years, this globe is precipitated from that globe and it came from its parent globe and it came from its parent globe. Call the first the globe A from which globe B came, from which globe C comes and, and the fourth stage there is the globe D which we call the earth we know that is the physical earth and again after living its own span of life this begins to undergo changes and recede to the same stage state as the globe C but you cannot call it globe C because C was in the descending order of matter whereas E is ascending order of ascending order from matter to spirit in the previous stages it was on the way from the subtle to the grass plane whereas here it is on the way to the subtle from the grasser plane so you find the globe retraces until it reaches the same stage as the globe A and only on this globe physical matter is possible and all the other globes are on the settler planes and we cannot perceive them through our senses. Now you can ask do they simultaneously exist or A is transformed into B when A disappears and B is transformed into C so that one globe will be travelling like this. It is not like that. If a child is born from the father, it does not mean that the father is instantaneously dead. You can see fathers and sons and grandsons living simultaneously. Same common sense holds good here also. These seven globes exist simultaneously and they exist interpenetrated with our globe. This is called the earth chain. Then do not mistake for a moment that they are the seven layers of creation or do not mistake that they are the seven planes of creation because there are only one, two, three, four planes here, no seven planes. The globes are seven in number but the planes are only four. We should not come to hasty conclusion. Sometimes a fellow from India like Krishnamacharya comes to Geneva and finds a musician in the opera and understands that he is a policeman because of the similarity of his uniform. <laughs> we should not make such mistakes here. So, it is better for us to arrange these globes in a different way so that you can see them in other dimensions. You should be able to look at them only also from the aeroplane. See our earth globe, next globe, next, next, one, two, three, four, five, six globes. Suppose this is our earth globe. 
you understand the previous seven globes in this diagram now that is less globe here here they exist like this but they are produced like this from center to circumference there are three more layers inside before the center makes a manifestation of the globe a so we have seven planes of the globes and three supra cosmic plane now you will be able to understand that these are the cosmic planes seven in number in which the seven globes exist only in four planes and these seven 1,2,3,4,5,6,7 apart from the other three they are what we call the physical etheric mental buddhic nirvanic para nirvanic maha para nirvanic so they are the seven planes of existence and all the seven put together make one plane we have seven such plane so there are seven supra cosmic planes of existence each of which includes seven cosmic planes of existence and each of these include seven sub planes and the other three are different from these seven planes these seven planes and the central most three planes of the supra cosmic level they bring out the creation in 10 stages that's why the stanzas describe that he is produced he he, he multiplied through 10 digits these are the 10 digits and they are symbolically represented by 1 and 0 the one the one meaning the indweller of the whole creation who is called the i am of the whole creation the circle being the egg in which he is hatched as the child of the cosmos and it is in the unit space globe in which he was hatched so space globe is called geometrically a globe and numerically a zero and it existed first on the planes of consciousness six are the planes of consciousness and seventh is the tangible existence so this is just one aspect to understand him <coughs> and the previous picture we have seen that includes the four stages the four stages are called the four st stages of the utterance of the lord by himself into the form of this creation and this is represented by the four states of utterance which we have previously seen this is called the objective universe that corresponds with our vocal language sentence and the other thing the previous one 
corresponds with our mental language sentence which comes out as the vocal sentence in the next stage and the previous stage corresponds to the mental sentence without language before it descended into our own language which we call concept and before that we were there and there was no sentence we got the idea that we should speak out a sentence and from ourselves the idea came out just as the wave emerges on the ocean the wave was not different from the ocean but the wave came different from the ocean so originally there was no idea except ourselves but idea came out from ourselves as something different or objective to ourselves the idea became concept concept became language mental sentence and it is uttered as vocal language sentence that is how we are uttering everything in the same way the whole creation is uttered in four stages that's why the scriptures describe the creator as four faced you know the creator is called brahma in the script he is described as having four faces <coughs> this is another aspect all this happens according to the law that is working in the background you can ask when there was no planetary globe did the law exist to whom it existed before the solar system came into existence was there the light and was there the heat where were they concealed where were they concealed where were the properties of matter and properties of light and properties of heat so if they existed the law might have existed when these globes go into nothingness the law also ceased to exist it is false because when we were sleeping our knowledge never ceased to e- exist it ceased to exist only to our mind it existed to itself and the moment we woke up in the morning we woke up with all the knowledge of all our knowledge of everything just as our knowledge exists when we are sleeping the law and the laws of creation exist when there was no creation that is what we have seen in yesterday's lesson they say that the traits exist eternally whereas they stimulate into every creation as the instincts of the creation they stimulate into manifestation whenever there is a creation whereas they exist beyond creation eternally when there was no creation and the creation pulsates from existence to non existence from non existence to existence one unit creation one unit creation the fourth the fourth no the whole process whole process let us understand the background and the activity at the end of which we see objectivity the whole thing becomes one unit creation which exists on the background coming into objectivity from subjectivity and going into subjectivity from objectivity the background exists eternal and when there is creation 
the background ex exists as the indweller consciousness, whom we call God in many stages. Whereas when there is no creation, he exists to himself or the all subjectivity, just as we exist to ourselves when we are sleeping. Our mind doesn't exist. Our senses do not exist, but we exist when we are sleeping because the heart is throbbing and the lungs are respiring and the blood is circulating and what we ate before sleeping was continuously in the process of digestion when, you are, when we are sleeping. Everything is going on normally except the activity of the mind and the senses. <coughs> so, this is one aspect of the teaching that the law exists eternal and the creation comes and goes. That's why in the secret doctrine it is said, loss or the law is eternal and is created. This is one sentence which is a translation of one of these stanzas of Jan. And it's a, it has a profound significance and with this sentence we have to live for some time before we can really know the significance of this sentence. And who is the lawmaker? When there was no creation, if you say there was the law, who is the lawmaker? Apply your common sense to yourself when you, when you are sleeping. If you believe that you are living while you are sleeping, when you are absent as mind and senses, who is there making you live? The answer is here in the secret doctrine. Deity is the law and vice versa. While when you are sleeping, you are the one who permits yourself to live. You are your life and your life is yourself. Now, we have covered one aspect of the planetary activity. Let us have this separately placed in our mind because we have only understood it, but we should taste it, live in it and we should have it interpenetrated. So, let us preserve it for our homework. We enter into the next aspect of the theory. Every planet of ours, including the Sun, Moon, Mars, Mercury and Jupiter, Venus, go on adding planets after discovering. <laughs> Everyone has his own ladder of seven rungs. Every fellow has his own Jacob's ladder, along which he descends and he ascends. Does it happen continuously? The answer is, every day we eat food and drink water, it undergoes seven changes the seventh state of which works as the I am of you and since the I am is yourself, question yourself if this continues permanently with us, the highest principle continues permanently and the sixth principle will be there as co-eternal while all the other five principles they are periodical. That's why bodies come and go, mind appears and disappears, <laughs> senses manifest and go into unmanifestation. Whereas you are there as the eternal principle. From you, the other principles come. In you, they exist. 
and into you they disappear and the sixth one is called the nature which is there with you so these two are called the pure consciousness and power this forms one capsule of creation they are called the co-eternals now we are not much concerned with them this every it first remember that every planet has its own chain called the planetary chain and every such chain where from it has come question yourself where ha, where from i have come the answer is from your father through your mother same thing here also from a parent planetary chain now we are entering into the second aspect <laughs> just as we have come from our parents <laughs> who have come from their parents 